The government has today successfully overturned nine amendments to its critical illegal migration bill, you know, the bill designed to stop the boats through the Rwanda scheme, which we desperately need, after it was significantly weakened in the House of Lords last week. Despite further rebellions looming, ministers are now confident of passing the bill through both houses by tomorrow, ensuring it's made law before Parliament breaks for its six-week summer recess on Thursday. But as unelected peers, lefty lawyers and the civil service blob continue to do their best to obstruct the will of the British people, today we can reveal the dangerous real-world consequences of the complete and utter failure to stop the boats. Exclusive information obtained by Dan Morton tonight exposes several concerning developments at the migrant camp at RAF Weathersfield in Essex. Sources tell us that the facility is now dealing with an active case of scabies. The Home Office is paying a contractor to build a dedicated isolation block for, tu for tuberculosis cases. Migrants, though, are said to be arriving unscreened and are only being tested for these communicable diseases once on site. That's despite local council and health officials being assured that they would be tested before they left the Manston facility in Kent. A former Home Office official told us tonight, this is a first-rate scandal and heads should roll for this. Now, a Home Office spokesperson would only respond in part to what we've learned. They said the welfare of individuals at the site is of the utmost priority. All appropriate protocols are being followed in accordance with UK health security advice guidance to manage one case of scabies currently at Weathersfield who has been isolated and has been treated. There is assessed to be no risk to the local community. But how can we trust the Home Office is taking this crisis seriously when they so recklessly ferry migrants around the country without testing them for contagious diseases first? And let's remember, this isn't the first time our communities have been put at risk like this. Last year, the Manston Asylum Centre was riddled with cases of scabies and more dangerously diphtheria. One migrant man who died after staying at the facility was later confirmed to have the nasty bacterial infection. How much more of a warning do we need? And dare I say it, how long before a British person becomes fatally ill? It's time we treated the Channel crisis like the clear and present national emergency that it is. We simply cannot allow the left with their cabal of millionaire socialist human rights lawyers and labour activists to continue frustrating policies designed to stop the boats. We can no longer allow the priorities of economic migrants and people smugglers to be put ahead of the health of the British people.